Right, so I've just booked tickets to Cairo, um, which is fine, but I've got to get a, a visa to get into the country, which is just an absolute nightmare. Like, the Egyptian website for getting a visa is terrible. I've been on it for like an hour now and can't get past any of this. Like, look at this. Right, attach a passport picture, yeah? It's got to be under a JPEG. You attach it, your brows, I've named it number one, there it is, boom. Attach. Uh, honestly, it's incredibly annoying. A few moments later. Right, so the next leg of the journey has been figured out. I've booked a flight from Istanbul to Cairo, which will leave tomorrow at 11 p.m. Um, there's no direct flights, so I'm going to have to fly from Istanbul to Haggadah um, and then wait in the airport from about half one in the morning until I think it's half five in the morning and then there's a one hour flight from Haggadah which takes me to Cairo. Now the issue I've got now is a visa. This is the first time I'm sort of leaving Europe where it's been free travel and not needed a visa etc. Um, so I've been online trying to figure that out. It's taking me hours. The, the Egyptian website and its portal is horrendous. Like You can't use it on your phone for one. I've then got it up on the laptop, try to figure it out. No joy, fill everything in and then it has to see like a picture of your passport. You upload a picture of the passport, it's not the right size, it's not the right format, like, and I've done everything it says, it's a JPEG, it's under 500 kilobytes, like everything they've asked for, I'm done and it's still saying no, so um, I've asked around and apparently um, you can just turn up to Egypt and sort your visa on arrival, which I wasn't aware of, so I feel like I've kind of wasted my hour, so that that's literally what I'm going to do now. I'm going to um, just catch the flight tomorrow at 11. Uh, and then so hopefully sort the visa when I arrive and then figure out how to get into the city centre of Cairo, get by the pyramids, find a place to stay because I think my plan is probably to stay there maybe two nights, um, get two, two nights in there, explore the pyramids, I know there's a good museum there um, and also figure out the next stop, like I'm already sort of pre-thinking where I want to go next because I don't I don't want to get stuck in Cairo and stay there too long so I'm thinking that with what I've looked at recently the cheapest flight is into Abu Dhabi so I'm potentially going to like book that maybe today or tomorrow um, so I know I've got an onward journey like I'm in see the pyramids do what I want to do and then catch the next flight out and then sort of figure the rest of the journey out from there so yeah I will keep you all updated and we'll see how the next couple of days goes. So today I am in the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul which was founded in 1461 I think he said on the door. Just uh, having a look around and it Tell you what, if anyone's been to Manchester and Cheatham Hill, this is on the next level. There's so many fake Rolexes, Louis Vuitton, so look how, look how big it is to be fair. So, yeah, I might just have a little wander into a few of these, um, see what's about, but I'm not going to be buying anything because I've just not got the cash on me. I've got a journey to, uh, to keep progressing with, so yeah, I've got a little explore around here see what we can find. So it is the last evening in Istanbul and the weather's changing so I'm pretty happy about that. Tomorrow I am going to be heading to the pyramids but before I went, I need to show you the best place to eat in Istanbul, which is Tatbak. Chicken is my favorite food. I'm a massive chicken connoisseur and you just not be in their stuff here. So we're gonna take you inside, have some food here, and then relax for the last evening. Hello, we upstairs? Upstairs. Hello, hello. We've had about two meals a day here, so we are now fully fledged regulars.
just here getting our daily supply of um, three, what is it, three meals a day? Protein. Um, yeah, three meals a day at tap back. And for those of you that are wondering why I don't look like a 10 out of 10 right now, because we've just been through a monsoon and uh, my hair's all fucked. But yeah, we are we are matching. Well, this that's, is... our, that's our tap back tradition to come in matching clothes as well, because they give us a discount for style. But yeah, uh, Kev, probably one of the fussiest eaters I've ever seen in my life, actually finishes every single bit of his chicken. Which is high price. Which is, which is yeah, well, yeah, something like that. I didn't record it. You did not. I don't know if I did or not. You did? Let's see. So it is that time again, the travels are commencing. I am leaving the comfort zone of Matt's place where I've been for the last nine days or so. Um, just chilling out really and exploring Istanbul, which to be honest, I've, I've really enjoyed. I have, I have kind of missed the, the day-to-day -day travel and bouncing around. Um, but yeah, it's been, been good to sort of re recover from, from the previous 10 days of travel. But now I am heading off to Cairo to go and see the pyramids and again no accommodation booked for tomorrow yet and it's going to be a long night of traveling so I'm heading to the airport now and catching a flight I think it's around 11 o'clock and there's no direct flight so I'm flying into Haggadah in Egypt um, I should land there at about 12 30 and then the connecting flight from Haggadah to Cairo is at 5.30 in the morning so I should be arriving in Cairo nice and early at 6.30 but without any sleep so you know tomorrow could be a bit of a, a row off day but we'll, we'll see how I feel um, when I get there. I've always wanted to go to the pyramids so this, this whole trip bouncing around and, and leading me to Istanbul like I felt like I just couldn't not go to the pyramids now, now I'm so close so Technically, it wasn't the cheapest flight that was available, but it's one that I've, I've got to do. Um, so I think the flight cost me £197 one way, which, which is by far the most expensive flight to date when you compare it to like £10 to Carcassonne, £9 to Milan, £6 to Bratislava. Um, so yeah, it is, it is super expensive, but it's, it's a bucket list thing, this one. So um, yeah, really looking forward to see it. At the end, I'm going to take you all there with me, so uh, yeah, let's hope tonight's journey is a smooth one. So that is the first flight done. I've just arrived in Haggadah. It is now 35 minutes past two. Obviously I had no sleep, no sleep on the plane because I'm not paying uh, to choose my seats. So I'm always getting the middle seat, which is just a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I've just gone through passport control, got my visa, which costs $25. Um, and now I guess I need to leave the airport to come back in because um, my next flight is in three hours time which leaves at 20 past five or half five I think which will then be the one that's taking me into Cairo so I'm going to uh, try and find my way out and then back in but yeah I'll keep you all updated you know what is annoying everyone when you're abroad everyone just tries to scam you so just ask then one of the guys back there for a taxi to so basically I'm in the airport I've, I've landed in arrivals um, I now need to go to departure, which is you just go down this road, turn left, back on yourself, um, and that's where the next flight is. And the guy wanted ten euro, uh, no, sorry, ten dollars for a five-minute drive. Which, when I was googling um, taxi rides at, at the airport from Cairo to where I'm staying, a twelve-kilometer ride, you're looking at about twenty, twenty euros 20 dollars top so just try and absolutely have me off um so yeah i'm gonna walk it it's 20 minutes to walk it i've got time what are we on now it is yeah we're on 253 now so we've got plenty of time i'll just wander uh 
wander around, see see how long it takes me. On a positive note, the um, weather's glorious. Like, what is it? It's nearly 3 a.m. in the morning. It's nice and warm, which I can say is much warmer than Istanbul was. Um, it probably gives me like childhood memory vibes of arriving in Cyprus on a family holiday. Like, it's just got that feel in the air. Um, that heat so yeah and like when I was saying it look listen I've, I've just left that building over there I don't know if you can see it let me zoom in so from there I'm gonna walk down this road to I imagine where all them lights are there and that is not a $10 trip not having that's a ten dollar trip it's less than five minutes in a taxi um so yeah i'd rather have the stroll i've got the time to waste i mean you don't fly till half five um so i've got what two and a half hours spare so i might as well just uh, get them extra steps in um yeah update i've got a bit lost uh so where it told me to walk to I couldn't get through to the airport it was like a bus depot and everything was like blocked off so now I've walked further away to come back around on myself because I can see the airport over the bus depot there's just no way through so I'm hoping this is the right way otherwise I'm really going to regret my decision of not just paying $10 for a taxi so if it pays off brilliant I've got free data for my stay in Egypt if he doesn't pay off, then I'm just an absolute idiot. This has got to be it, right? Got to be. Boom, Terminal 2. Domestic departures there, there we go. What's that saying? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm that tired, I can't even read signs. But I'm guessing I'm going to be this one. Perfect, £10 saved. That is a meal paid for for today. <laughs> I'm such a tight guy. But you know, I'm traveling on a budget. I want to see how far I can get. These are the things you've got to do. Right, through um, security and stuff now. It's the tiniest airport I've ever been to. And also, the staff are just extremely rude. No manners whatsoever. Anyway, I'll flip it around. This is the entire gate. There's um, no duty free, no nothing. There's one little cafe there, one set of toilets, and that's your lot. So I think I've got um, an hour. Yeah, about two hours. Just under two hours left until the flight time, so yeah. Oh, I could do with a nap. Absolutely knackered, so it's 24 hours now without any sleep whatsoever. Um, landed in Cairo finally, so I'm really excited to explore Egypt and see the pyramids because that's been on my bucket list for some time now. Um, got chatting to a guy on the plane, and he was like, Whatever you do, avoid uh, taxis in Egypt, always use Uber um, just because it's far cheaper. He said, Any taxi driver over here will know I'm not from around here I don't speak Arabic and they will they'll just times the journey by 10 sort of thing so um, yeah apparently Ubers are gonna be super super cheap so my plan is to just walk further out of the airport because um, I'm a bit confused by the pickup points here um, then get an Uber straight to the hotel where I'm staying at which is by the pyramids which is 20 miles away so yeah, some distance, but I've put in um, it into Uber already, and it was coming up, uh, I think, 200 uh, Egyptian in Egyptian money, which like converts to about 10 pounds. So um, 
that's actually super cheap and then when you compare it to what happened earlier at the uh, Pagada airport that's the same price he quoted me just to drive two minutes like probably less than two minutes so um, yeah it's starting to make sense that uh, I need to keep an eye on the scammers and getting um, such prices added to everything. ride was 10 pounds which is incredible because it was a 50 minute um, journey a drive in Egypt is an experience in itself because there's no lanes no rules everyone does what they want people are crossing roads slamming on weaving in and out mental but anyway this is the hotel that I'll be staying this evening Marvel Stone um, so yeah let's try and get checked in but I think it's only eight o'clock, so we'll see if they got a room ready for me. Oh, hello. Good morning. I'm just wondering if I could check in. I'm a bit early, so. What's the name of the Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. With booking? Yes, booking.com, yeah. What is the name again? Kevin? Ke uh, yeah, Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith. Okay, I will see if I have, uh, because we are. Uh, almost full, okay. so I will try to uh, prepare a room for you. That'd be amazing, and, thank you. Uh, I will make you chicken, early chicken. Not oh, chicken. amazing. Okay. Just perfect. with you at Wait, the lobby perfect. and I will... Is, is there rooms for tomorrow night as well? I might book a, a, another night. I will see. Just for today. Fully booked tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, I'll find somewhere else tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. So I've just come to the rooftop of the hotel that I'm staying at and you, you ought to see this view. It's absolutely unbelievable. Let me um, let me pop it around. Check this out. What a day. I mean, I've been up all night, had no sleep whatsoever, but this is, this is just bucket list stuff, isn't it? Like ever since I read the book, The Alchemist, I'd always wanted to come here, so you kind of like picture it in your own mind before you get here. But yeah, what a what a moment this is! Just just want to take um, take all this view in before I properly go and explore. And to be honest, I could do with getting a bit of uh, a bit of sleep as well because I'm talking now and I just feel like I'm mumbling my way through it because I'm absolutely knackered. Um, so yeah, I've still not checked into, into my room yet, so I'm hoping I can get in soon and just grab like an hour or so, just, just a quick power nap and then up and out, go see the uh, pyramids, like get closer to them, see if we can go inside and then figure out the plan for the next couple of days really, because I've heard there's a really good museum that I need to see whilst I'm here. I obviously want to go close to the pyramids, get inside, have a proper walk around, uh, see the Sphinx as well, which is just there. And then I guess I don't know, see what else there is to do in Cairo. But yeah, sleep is the first priority. <laughs> but yeah, this is a quick room tour. So I'm in room 418. We've got two single beds for some reason, which yeah, a bed is a bed at this rate. Bathroom, shower, you know, again, it still beats those hostels that I was in. Um, back in Europe and I've got a pyramid view not the best one this is my view but there we go there's the pyramids <laughs> like why why put a big plank of wood across the window what's the point what is the point but anyway um the view from the rooftop's amazing, so I can't can't complain. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here for a bit and just get some sleep because I'm knackered and waffling on. Um, but yeah, I'll pick it back up in a couple of hours or so, and that's when we'll start heading out to Cairo and having a proper look round. See you in a bit. Yeah, 
You know what? For the first time in my life, I feel like it's the first time I'm actually kind of seeing true poverty. Um, I, I'm guessing this place is far worse than this, or unless everyone comes here because they know it's a tourist trap, but you can't go more than like 30, 40 seconds before these children asking you for food, water. I mean, I've already given a bottle of water away. Um, money, it is, it's a mental experience. It really is. It's not one that you feel super safe at either. Um, hello, I'm welcome. Hello, thank you. I'm good, no camel. I just feel like um, a bit of a target. I probably do look worse with the fact that I've got a camera out. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know what my first thoughts are of this place so far. Um, but like I said, I'm keeping the pyramids to tomorrow, like to get inside um, and properly see them and hopefully actually get inside the pyramids. So today I'm just like, because I've left it till, you know, there's only like half a day left. So I have a bit of a wander, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure so far.